My Besties YouTube's group, World Card Making Day Hop. We're so glad you could join us. One thing I want to mention right away is that we started today and we're going all the way through Friday, October 9th to make sure that everyone's got time to hop to all nine videos. So if you're not here on the weekend, if you're watching this after October 3rd, after the fact, you still have time. October 9th at midnight, Central Standard Time is the cutoff. If you've never done a hop before, this is how it works. Down in the description box, you will find a list of people who are in the hop. We have nine. I'm number one, and it goes all the way down to number nine, obviously. And there's directions in there as well, in case, they, in case you don't catch what I'm saying now. So you'd start with mine, watch my video, subscribe to me, leave me an encouraging comment, and then go to number two. Click on number two, go to her channel, watch her video, subscribe to her, leave her an encouraging comment, and go down to number three. When you've reached number nine and you finish that one, you go to my email. Send me a message to my email at signace at yahoo.com. That's in the description box as well. And then leave the title, something in the title that says hop, so that I don't accidentally delete your email because I'm going to put you into the drawing for the grand prize. It's very likely that most of the nine of us are going to have a, an, a hop candy or a prize. So make sure that you watch each video in its entirety and find out how to enter each one for their prize. I'm giving away the digi that I'm using on my project today. So all you have to do is leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel and I will put you in the drawing and one random winner will win a copy of that digi. One more bit of information before we go down to the table and get started on my exciting project. There is a coupon code for 50% off of all of the printables, like digis, printable, already colored images, there's 3D images, there's bottle caps, that sort of thing. And once you enter in the Your Special 50 code, it's also in the description box below if you've forgotten it, you will be able to see the the deduction coming off of each one and it'll show you. Now if the deduction doesn't come off that means that part or that item in her shop is not for sale. So you want to go to either mybestieshop.com or her Etsy shop. That information is also down below. Okay now that housekeeping is done let's get down to the project. I fell in love with this little cutie. She is the colored, what is it? Colored Images number seven, I believe. I will link her down below so that you can find her if you want to use her. I want to give you a better look at her because she's so tiny. I printed her like in like one inch by one inch. So she's really little. But look how beautifully they print. Let me see if I can get a better. There we go. Oh my gosh, she's darling. And then I got this card idea from the Scrappy Bookworm. And I fell in love with it. It's super, super quick. It's really easy. The tutorial is going to be right after this. And I want to show you, before I show you how to do the whole card base, uh, how I put this little thing together. So if you want to put a belly band on it, it does stay closed completely on its own. Here's one that doesn't have a belly band at all. It's super easy to open and close. You just be, you just carefully slide one of the last flaps in and out, okay? And it will stay closed, but if you wanna do a belly band like I did, you cut your strip. I did one inch by seven and a half inches. And then this one I went ahead and did a little embossing on. I thought that would be fancier. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. These pieces right here tend to stick out a little bit more. So I put it from the back and folded it over this extra piece here just so that there's a little extra give there and then give it a pinch. Same on the other side so they overlap a little bit but they're not super tight around the edge here. Give it a pinch and then I'm going to use some wet glue. You can use whatever you want but I think that um, the wet glue will just have a better hold so it won't snap back open. And then I'm just gonna hold that and give that a second to cling and dry. And then I made sure, so that has plenty of room to slide. It's gonna go right there. And then I made sure to make it my image and my circle big enough to cover that mark there so it wouldn't stick out. 
I printed, I used print and cut, printed and cut out all my images. They're pre-colored, so I didn't even have to do that. So I'm hoping that that will really encourage some of you guys who don't like the color. That Sherry Baldy has many different images and things you can choose from that will help you create gorgeous projects and you don't even have to be a colorer or a colorist. It's not necessary. She has gorgeous projects. She has card kits now. She has bracelet kits. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. You'll have to go and check it out at the My Bestie Shop. MyBestieShop.com. So look how cute that turns out. I really like the embossed, how that gives it a little bit kind of a fancier look. And then you can do one with a regular one. Again, that was one inch by seven and a half inches. So stick around and I'm going to show you how to make these cuties so that you can make little thank you cards, Christmas cards, wedding cards, any kind of ideas you can come up with. The pinwheel card is a super easy, quick card to make. I'm going to show you how to use how to make it using the Martha Stewart scoreboard and this piece that she includes for making envelopes. We're going to just slide that in, put our six by six sheet of paper into the corner here and score four times at two and five eighths. Two and five eighths, turn the paper. Two and five eighths, turn the paper. Two and five eighths. And two and five eighths. Then you can go ahead and take all four of those four lines and burnish them down. I'm just using my fingers, but you can use a bone folder if you feel like it. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and cut off each one of these corners. So this is what you have, and you've got these little corner here. You have four of those little corners. That's what we're cutting off. After you've got all four of those cut off, it's just a matter of putting your card back in this way without this plate, right up into the corner, and scoring each tab at three quarters of an inch. It's going to go from here right down to the corner, okay, right there, from there to the corner. And then you're just going to turn your card three quarters of an inch there to the corner. Turn your card three quarters of an inch there down to the corner and turn one last time three quarters of an inch down to the corner. Now your card should look something like that and you can go ahead and flip over whichever side you want that color to show. This time I'm going to use my bone folder because I want those to stay up. I want the little flower pattern to be the part that shows uh, for my pinwheel. So I'm making sure that all of those go up. Then I'm going to flip the card over and I'm going to put one side up. And then you want to cover this corner. So you bring the next side up and cover that corner. The next side up, cover that corner. And then the last one, you're just going to carefully bend and tuck in the corner right here. very quick and easy. I want to thank each and every one of you who stopped by, who did the hop, who encouraged all nine of us ladies who gave you these exciting fancy fold cards for World Card Making Day. We post every Saturday and Sunday for the Besties YouTube group and we hope to see you again. We have lots more inspiration to share. Oh and I have one more little message. Comment and subscribe to win. Good luck. <laughs>